y'all already know what time it is boys the cut has uploaded a brand new button video so it is time for daddy omega pro to go ahead and spin this thing up one time one time of course i'm streaming this live on twitch stream on twitch monday through friday 4 p.m eastern standard time slide through the streams gang but let's go ahead and get this we're you gonna get any awkward interactions maybe <laughs> what does the cut have in store for us yes let's go ahead and press play you know how like if there's someone you really like you like the smell of them yes i'm the same with my dog okay <laughs> do you have any dog me personally i wouldn't have said that but uh i think this man just said he wanted to have relations with his dog so that's kind of crazy but, yeah welcome to the button. w button Speed press w button press up red either player may press it and swap out their date for a new person get out of here if two people can last on a date for 10 minutes they win an all expenses paid second date this is the button. Yeah, that button been through some, like been through oh, some stuff. Yeah. This guy's in every video. Like a thrift store or something. <clears throat> yeah, I got it from one of my friends. Yeah. Nice. Trey makes one thousand plus tortillas a day. Damn! For what? Uh, it's his job. It's his job. It's his job. I do make a lot of tortillas every day. For like work or? Yeah, that's how I make my money. Yeah, that's kind of what I do. I... He's oh, he's a tortilla maker, and that's his job. Chat W job or no? Loki W employment. I grew up eating a lot of Mexican food, so. Oh, really? I like tortillas. Oh, right. yeah. You know, if mm -hmm. you're hanging out with me, you can get fresh tortillas anytime. Nice. Hmm. Uh, this is a little awkward. The conversation is stale. Not really much happening. Uh, it's kind of aux. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like low key L Riz. Yeah. <laughs> Too big of a fan of tortillas, yeah. then, yeah. No. <laughs> All right, life. can I get the fuck out of here? What's the, uh... Sure. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> what? No Damn, that's rough. I'm Cody. Nice the fact you. that they got, like, the, the GoPro in the back showing, like, the post-game interviews or whatever, that's just crazy. Yeah. What do you do for, like, your hobbies? I'm really into K-pop. K-pop? <laughs> so K-pop concert. Red flag, bro. I'm sorry, bro. That's that's a red flag. Have you ever met a good person that was into K-pop? Okay, that's cap. Let let me not like piss off an entire fandom, but like low key, bro. Like like K-pop, like really gang a lynch. Like somebody asks you what your hobbies are, and you say I like Korean music. He didn't ask what music you like. He asked what are your hobbies. Nice, nice. Like BTS. Oh yeah. Abby hates feet. Same. Um, I just think they're really gross. <laughs> Can you show her your feet? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. I think it's trip. Do you want me to show you my feet? Yes, please. Oh, nice. Cool. How do we feel about the feet? Um. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, don't blame you. I'm not a big fan of feet, especially uh, For sure. a big climber, so my climbing shoes get kind of oh. rough. Yo, just type a pumpkin emoji in the chat or in the comment section if you're watching this on YouTube, if you a foot nigga. Just go ahead, just, just put a pumpkin in there. I want to see some. Yeah, but what's a normal Sunday for you? I get up, climb, and lately we've been doing a lot of barbecues. Why did you reject me? Oh, Literally, why? I'm just not really like an outdoorsy person, but you, yeah, you're really No awesome. worries. <laughs> yeah. I'm not really an outdoorsy person unless, of course, BTS is uh, is performing a concert at like Mount Olympus or whatever. Is that a real place or is that like in God of War? I don't even, <laughs> I don't even fucking know, bro. Yeah, you're so nice. <clears throat> Good. Yeah. How are you? Good. What makes you horny? L Riz. What was that? Oh my god. The, the, the thing about the button that's so weird, champ, is like you got motherfuckers that are pushing the button in spite. You know what I mean? 
Like, you're not even really trying to get to know this person. You're just pushing the button in solidarity with your boys. I'm sorry, but are your boys going to be the ones that are going to be sucking your dick? Whoa. Sorry. Sorry. What makes you horny? What makes you horny? I don't know. This is weird. I'm an ass man. Mm -hmm. Is that is that weird to say? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. This is gonna sound hell hella whack, but none of the guys have got to press the button yet. Oh. Okay. That's so weird, champ. Not a victim, bit, bit emoji. What the? What the? No, the, the, the you like push the button on like on like two or three dudes, so then they push the button on you in retaliation. I'm sorry, it has nothing to do with. Oh nah, gang. Oh nah, gang. Okay, I the button is the best show on YouTube. Carrick, nice to meet you. Carrick? Yeah. Nice to meet you. See, but because of all that gossip, she finna push the button on him now. You can't find true love these days. I have a fact about Julie. She was banned from Hinge. Banned from what? Hinge? <laughs> what did you do? I was unhinged, unhinged, and oh, shit. I would fire Your back turn. to anybody that would make too early of a sexual... <laughs> Why did he push the button? Why'd you reject me? Um, I feel like we were vibing more than the last girl, but like still yeah. kind of wasn't. Like, I see. There, okay. I guess. Thank you. But I mean, know. I feel like she sat down and like said two words. See, that's the thing with the editing is you never know like how much they're actually saying, you know, or how long they've actually been talking. Because it looks like she just sat down, started talking about why she got banned on Hinge, and then he pushed the button. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I got banned off Tinder, so I guess we had that in common. <laughs> Jasmine. Jasmine. Yeah, nice I like your you. earrings. Thank you. And we have the same, same cool earrings. Yeah, true. Mine's a little bigger, but. Jasmine likes nerdy frat guys. Nerdy frat guys? <laughs> That's not me. Chat. Chat, it's your time. Did he say that's not me, by the way? <laughs> that's not me. Nah, nah, that's true. What are you? How do you describe <laughs> yourself? Um, I don't know. Yeah, Why'd you reject me? Was it was it because I rejected the the last two? No, I'm not. Shit, huh? No, I'm not petty like that. But shit. maybe a little bit. That's alright. But like, eh, like just not my time. It's okay. No, it's alright. You seem like a cool person though. Yeah, you too. Yeah. Say bye. <laughs> I'm Danny. Hi, Danny. I like your sweater. Thank you. It felt like the right day to wear this sweater. Yeah. It's Why? I'm wearing it. Talk about this thing that you humans call God. What the fuck? You're just bringing up religion immediately. I feel like it's a little weird, champ. I don't necessarily say that I'm. Christian just because religion mm -hmm. is really hard for me because sure. Christianity has hurt a lot of people yeah, yeah, I So you. I still struggle with that. Um, he's staring at the button I feel like she feels passionate in what she's talking about and he's just looking at the button like yeah Yeah, I got you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 No. Yeah. You're spinning. Yeah I, I agree with that sentiment oh, My th Thought I saw it turn red red there. Yeah. No. Nah, no. Nah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I agree. Yeah But I do have um, a really relationship okay. with Jesus I was a youth pastor for like three months okay. at 21. We did like this promo video for the kids, like this like rap Christian video, and I did it. I'm gonna, oh, that's crazy. Fa okay, fashion wise, I, the, the Kraken hat doesn't go with the sweater. We need the drip check on her. Okay, yo, t not to sound like Andrew Tate, but like you women don't know how to dress. I'm sorry. Like women get off on like just being able to be sexy. Like, cause you as a woman, you can just like sit around there and be hot. It doesn't matter what the fuck you're wearing. Okay. Women do not know how to dress. And this is just a, an unequivocal fact. You women just wear panda dunks, tank tops and cargos or whatever. And think you're dripping. No, you're not. I'm not, don't call me Omega Tate, bruh. I'm, I'm so sick of this. I'm so, <coughs> oh, women are choking me with their mind. I think women have immaculate drip. They have W Riz and they can do no wrong.
Which like it sounds does. really bad. It and does, I'm I'm not basing this off. She don't know what she's talking about. It does. Trust me. It's like it just no, to no, me it doesn't it works. It works. You seem like a cool person though. Yeah, she's she is kind of right though. She's she she is kind of right. But. Okay. Jasmine is into clubbing. Are you into clubbing? That's true. I do love to go out. I'll be in the club. Okay. Go okay. Away. I'm not gonna lie. That's a button press for me. I hate going out to like clubs. I hate clubs. I hate them. So I could not date somebody that went out to clubs. I just couldn't do it. Oh, I just wouldn't. You too. Show me your best. Club oh. dancing. <laughs> oh, is that like the Rasputin? Is he trying to get sturdy? What is that? That's sturdy. That's sturdy? Yeah. Bro, little bro, Kai. Hey, yo, Kai, help this nigga, man. Kai, you gotta help this dude, bro. Why did you reject me? Okay, the dance moves. Like, I just. I got secondhand embarrassment. I'm not gonna lie. I'm sorry. That's okay. Who gonna push the button on her, gang? Not now. I'm getting angry. Now I'm mad. Push the button. Somebody needs to do it. I thought his dance moves were fucking dope. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What kind of vibe are you looking for? If she gets the button pushed by Tim the Tap Man, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. If Tim the Tap Man is the one to push the button on her, I'll. That would make my day. I don't know. Someone who's like easy going and having fun. You know, this feels a little racist, yet another white man denying a person of color an opportunity. However, we'll let it slide in this case. You seem cool, <laughs> but I want somebody that knows what they want. You know, and the whole, like, you know, I don't know my vibe, kind of a little bit of a red flag for me. Damn, get psychoanalyzed. He said, how about you learn about yourself a little bit more before you start trying to go out on a date? How about you do a little bit of self-reflection first? God damn, golly. Words cut deep. What do you do for work? Um, so I'm a patient access representative, and then I'm also a nursing student, and I'm going to be a nurse tech soon. Okay, that's W's. Cool. Uh, I work at the Department of Licensing. I just work in customer relations, so basically just handle, um, you know, people's records and stuff like that. That's cool. Push the button on Gango. He all right? He got here too far, bro. Like, like he made it too far. Push the button on Gango Lanch. Can you ask him what his turn ons are? What are your turn ons? Um, I think like turn on wise, I am big on like, I'm a, uh, my love language is physical. Okay. So like turn ons wise, I don't know. I, I it's hard. See, this is stupid. Like I'm, I'm starting to like not believe in that love language bullshit because like when somebody like lists out all the love languages, like nigga, I, I want them all, Like fuck I got to bitch. Give me gifts. Give me acts of service. You know what I'm saying? Tickle my taint. I want it all. You feel me? I'm selfish. And I'll do and I'll do all of them in return as well, obviously. To describe it's one of those like you know, like anything in this area, I guess. Yeah. Oh, okay. like, not Just say it. Like why are you being so weird? Just say it. Okay, not okay. like not like porn star status, not uh, like that, but like I wasn't thinking of porn star, but now <laughs> I'm thinking like of that. porn star. <laughs> no. What about you? I just like when Hold on, but when he said like this area, what does that mean? Does he mean he likes to get choked? Like, does he, like, does he mean he likes neck kisses? Who doesn't? Somebody kind of does, like, words of affirmation. No, yeah, I that's totally my get kind that. Of thing. You know, kind of like the reaffirming, the reaffirmation. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know how to talk sometimes. It's okay. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to pause, but we need to fix something. No button. Are you okay? Oh, no. She got a little bit. <laughs> Do you find Brian attractive? <laughs> Are you asking me? Yeah. Kinda do. You get the strut going, you know. You gotta go. How do I say this politely? Is she lying, chat? <laughs> what do y'all think? What What do y'all think? Is she lying or who is Brian? Is it not this guy? It was the This nigga got cocked by a cut employee. 
Bro, what? Oh, there's just no way. There is, she is on a date with this other man, and this dude came in and rizzed her up. Oh, nah. Gangalanch, how is this possible? <laughs> you gotta fight him. It works. Fair enough. Was that you? The fact that she pushed the button and said it works. Hey, man. She just made an Andrew Tate fan, just so y'all know what just happened here. Are you testing it? Yeah, but testing and rejection. <laughs> I feel so bad. He was given like that kid in high school who was like super sweet, and then you never wanted to reject him, and they come over to you, and they're like, will you date me? And you're like, no. Or maybe I only had that experience. <laughs> Why not, Kayla? Why not? But that dumb bitch got pregnant at 20 and ruined her life. I lied. She's happily married with that man and they have a beautiful family with a Labrador and a white picket fence. They own a house. He's a fucking engineer. <laughs> Oh, uh, shit. You like bad boys? <laughs> you like bad boys? Hi. You like what now? I like bad boys. What makes you think I'm a bad boy? I didn't say that. I was just saying. Nah, it's okay. What's your name? Razia. What's your name? Jason. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Are you a bad boy? I'm a wholesome person. How about that? Mm. You sound so toxic. I'm sorry. I'm not toxic at all. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I am wholesome. I'm gonna let you redo it. How would you describe yourself? Wholesome. <laughs> I really like your earrings. That's the. Oh, thank you. <laughs> as soon as you said wholesome, I'm a non toxic, wholesome I'm sorry, but I don't believe you. <laughs> like, I don't believe you one bit. Nice so, why should you. we believe anything you say? If she don't push the button on a white man, I. Mm. Oh. You too. Cole likes to smell his dog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you, are you like a fat person? I mean, yeah, but like, what do you mean you like to smell your dog? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real, like, you're smelling that ass or what, Gango? So you know how like, if there's someone you really like, you like the smell of them? Yes. I'm the same with my dog. <laughs> okay, like so like smell. you're picking out the shampoos and stuff on purpose to make sure they smell good for you or like... Oh, for my own hair? Or no, for my no, dog? No, for your dog. Yeah, no, I mean, just as like... Could we get a police tale on this man? Because he's 100%. Um, I, I mean, maybe I shouldn't make outlandish claims, but I'm just getting vibes. Not even when he shampooed like the barber, just just whatever. Oh. Just like smell my dog. I guess that's kind of weird. Do you have any dogs? But I don't. I used to have a dog. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. I like your little fit you got going on here. Thank you. I tried a little bit. Okay, Top Golf. Do you work at Top Golf? I do. I'm a bartender there. Oh, okay. Low key outfit. I like the sweater though. The sweater's fire. So you play golf? I do play golf. Okay. Do you play golf? Uh, I picked it up when I got to Top Golf. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, we might have to get a swing sometime. Yeah, that'd be fun. Okay. Ugh, I hate hot people. Anybody else agree? What do you like to do for fun other than golf? So I was a cosmetologist and an esthetician for a little bit. Oh, okay. So you could do hair. Yeah, I can do hair. But I have a question. Mm -hmm. How would your ex, your most recent one? Ooh. Describe? Chat, how would your most recent ex describe you? My most recent ex would say tiny cock. Big old breasts that honestly put mine to shame and ruined my self-confidence while I was with him because he had nicer titties than me. Um, you know, things, things of that nature. She would probably say I'm caring on the bad side. She'd probably say that she would say I'm controlling, but the only reason why she would say that is because mm -hmm. she uh, posts very explicit pictures on Instagram. And I was like, you know, I understand that you're happy with your body and mm -hmm. I support you. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, can we like dial it back just a little bit? Okay. And she didn't like that. Interesting. <laughs> You about to hit the button on No, me? I got scared. I swear. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Let's see.
Interesting. She didn't press the buttons. You didn't. I didn't, and I've been pressing it. <laughs> I have been Oh, I've been, I've been seeing the cycle. Hmm. Do you think you two would be interested in going on a second date? I'd be interested in going on a second date. <laughs> I too would be interested in going on a second date. <laughs> you seem like you actually mean it when you say like you're a very caring person, sometimes you care too much. And you kind of seem like you're really putting yourself out there, like you're not really holding back. And I really like that, I admire that. Yeah, your smile, honestly. <laughs> Everybody lies, Gango. Everybody lies. He's a liar, a damn liar. Nah, I'm happy for them, okay? You know, hopefully they have a great date. They do their thing, you know what I mean? I'll light up one more time. And if you don't press me, you win the button. I'm not going to look at it, so if you hit it. Ouch. What? But why? Literally, but why? Why did she do that? For what was the reason? Why did you reject me? I don't know. I just couldn't get over the little, like, thing that you were talking about with your ex. I kind of do like to post freely. I don't like anybody to hold me back. That was kind of my issue with my last relationship. So as much as I like everything else in the conversation and I really wanted it to work, I just don't want to be in another situation where I feel like I'm held back at all. I'm really sorry. It's cool. I get it. Damn. So, yeah, that makes sense. Honestly. Kind of unfortunate. It is what it is. You know, it's not like, you know, they have, it's not like there's anything like ill will, anything bad between the two of them. It's just, you know, one person wants to be able to post their body freely as they should be able to. And then the other person just don't doesn't want their partner to do that. It makes sense. I get it. You know, I let her keep posting. She's whack. How? She she enjoys posting pictures of herself, of her body on Instagram, and she wants to continue to do that. And this guy said he doesn't want his girl to do that, so it doesn't work. Like it makes sense. Like I honestly respect her more for pressing that button because like it would be very easy to just like lie to yourself and be like, oh, but I really like this person. Maybe it can work. No, that's a very real like uh, difference that y'all have with one another. That like I think that makes sense. It happens. No matches this episode. I'm sorry. Damn. Why did it just like freeze on her for a bit? Maybe she costed somebody real love, a real relationship by rejecting so many men. I don't know. What do you guys think, chat? Would y'all hop on uh would y'all hop on the button? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you don't, I will find out where you live and I will shit in your toilet. Um and then clog it. So cool.